uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a kid grew up in a certain um, certain period. Um, so in many respects, I probably I'm as, in, as much influenced by the things that I was against in, in the 1980s um, when I was growing up. And I don't want to need want to spell those out, um, uh, but um, you know that that will have been a, a big factor. Um, I really liked uh, the music scene in the 80s, the indie um, indie music, and um, and some of the dance music at the time, and that whole sensibility um, of uh, you know excitement that came with that. Um, but you know, in terms of politics, um, I'm much more. I've always been. I've always been a member of the, the Labour Party since I was a since I was a boy. Um, but when um, when Tony Blair became um, the leader um, of the Labour Party, I felt that finally Labour kind of understood what it was like to be a Labour voter or somebody who might be a, um, a Labour voter, and that kind of uh, connection um, that that, uh, that that Tony Blair had with the people and the way that he could communicate with them. And back then was a was a big, um, big influencing factor in me getting really actively um, involved in in politics, and you know I was lucky enough to be a candidate in the 1997 general election, um, and um, I, you know I'm proud to say that I'm one of the minority of Labour Party uh, candidates in 1997 who lost, um, but uh, but you know it was uh, a brilliant experience, and um, and I'm so pleased to have sort of like played my part in creating um, that, uh, that kind of like government and that style of, um, uh, of governing, which I think did make the country more tolerant and, uh, uh, you know, more, uh, you know, pleasant place, uh, place to live after a period that, I, as I said, I was probably reacting against. Where were you standing in 97? I was the candidate in Sutton and Sheen. Um, and um, yeah, but the, uh, the votes that I took off the Tories were enough for the Liberal Democrat to get in, but, uh, you know, not enough for me to get anywhere close to winning. Is that is that something that you you uh, entertain the thought of going back to? Do, do, do you imagine going back into to, trying to become an MP again, going back to Parliament? No, I genuinely didn't. And probably the story of um, uh, of, of my politics um, and my involvement in politics is just um, you know if you if I, I don't know whether you've been involved in politics yourself, but a, a lot of people who, who who do they go along to their first meeting. It might be in somebody's front room. And you just get asked to be the the youth officer, or you get asked to be the um, you know the, the social secretary, or something like that. You get asked, and so um, I suppose my problem was I was just the one who would never say no. So I got asked to be the youth officer. I got asked to um, you know to do this and that, and then I got asked to be um, a, you know a council candidate, and then I got asked to be the parliamentary candidate, and then I got asked to be a you know and so on and so forth. Um, and that's that's. That's been that's been my route. No one's asked you to be prime minister yet. Well, you know, if, if somebody if somebody comes along, it depends who it is. Um, you know, 